President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, is speaking to congressional investigators behind closed doors today. What we do know is that he says he's not trying to conceal any contacts with Russians. We'll get more now from Eyewitness News reporter Seth Lemon on Capitol Hill. Jared Kushner is telling Senate Intelligence Committee investigators he did not collude with Russia during the campaign. The whole purpose of the meeting is for the guy to explain. Here's how I met the Russian ambassador. Here's what we talked about. Here's how I met the banker guy. Here's what we talked about. In an 11 page statement released this morning, Kushner says he met with a Russian banker back in December. Around that same time, he also met with the Russian ambassador to the U.S., Sergei Kislyak. He says he was looking to establish a line of communication between Russia and then National Security Advisor Michael Flynn to talk about Syria. Today's Senate testimony was just the first meeting for Kushner. He'll be back on Capitol Hill tomorrow to meet with the House Intelligence Committee. His counsel has said they'll only make him available for two hours, so we expect this is just going to be the first interview. Um, but uh, there's uh, a great many questions that we'll have from Mr. Kushner. President Trump slammed the top Democrat on the House committee this morning, tweeting, Sleazy Adam Schiff, the totally biased congressman looking into Russia, spends all of his time on television pushing the Dem loss excuse. He then took a shot at his own attorney general, Jeff Sessions, calling him beleaguered and asking why he and Congress aren't investigating Hillary Clinton as well. Last week, the president told the New York Times he wouldn't have nominated Sessions to head up the Department of Justice if he had known Sessions was going to recuse himself from the Russia investigation. And President Trump's oldest son, Donald Trump Jr., and campaign chairman Paul Manafort have also agreed now to having closed-door meetings of their own with the Senate Judiciary Committee.